Frenchman project started as kind of an exploration of the history of the ice rink that used to be on the sands, which is just across from the gallery space. And in the future, we're looking towards getting like a city centre mural and a permanent collection of the different artefacts and memorabilia. Um, but this gallery space, the Dead Dog, is filled with kind of pictures and memorabilia from Durham Ice Rink starting in the 40s up to 1990s. So the Dead Dog Gallery is like in a really amazing location in the city centre and I think it's a really good opportunity for people to come into the city centre and find places in there that they can meet people and discover a community and we're looking at the ice rink which was a huge community hub and it's really important for people to explore what that meant for people and what we're missing now as well. Yeah, so there's a mix of people who went to the rink in the different stages and you know there's people who were kind of teenagers when it closed and um, still feel that like sadness and kind of it ended in like very abruptly and you know for them it's been like like closure in a way and there's been a lot of people who were there like around when it opened and um, like quite old now and it's been really interesting collecting their stories and they can see like this timeline of a thing that they were there in the very early days of. The history of it wasn't well known, people knew it existed but kind of didn't think of it as anything special. To start with, people kind of weren't really understanding what I was trying to achieve with the project but as I've explored it and kind of unearthed stories and you know found really really special objects from those times and um, it's really like kind of took on a different meaning and I think people really do understand the value of our history and our modern history. It's just been a really good opportunity for me to like tap into all of the expertise that's like within the Sixth Form Centre so all of the teaching staff who just have like a real like variety of skills and then the people who help out with the gallery curation has just been like a huge upskill for me because this is my first time like operating in a gallery space so it's been really really interesting to kind of um, look at my art and my practice through through the lens of a gallery. So this experience, it, it's really just um, made me more aware of what I actually want to do, which is the reason I took the foundation course to begin with, because I, I was in that stationary state, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And this opportunity that I've had has been amazing, really. It, it's, it's been so integral to my artistic journey to, to my uh, to my creative journey to just generally my thoughts of what I want to do in the future because I more than anything yeah like I, like I said before uh, it, it's a, it's about people and I never knew that before I started doing this and I, I love that I figured that out my experience is per se, uh, are a testament to how well artists and residents and students can work together in the same setting. Uh, artists uh, putting on workshops for the students, um, being able to offer them insight into their own projects. It's a very unique connection that not many areas of education have. And I, I, I've been really lucky to, uh, to experience that. I think it's really important that we celebrate our really local, unique heritage and we don't 
look at our heritage through what someone else's looks like. In another northern city like Newcastle or Manchester, we look at Durham very specifically because we're a really unique county. And I want people to come here and to recognise themselves as having contributed and being part of history and know that they have a voice in shaping what Durham City Centre is like in the future.